Hey, I'm back. Uh, you notice you're seeing someone just laying back there. It's called Luna the Husky. And she will behave herself. And the reason for that is we trained her with a weird device. <clears throat> it's called the Mini Educator. Uh, it's not a shot caller. Um, see? Mini Educator. Uh, it's basically a device that you put around their neck. <clears throat> And a, a shot collar, you zap them, and then they jump about 100 feet. And one of the collars I have <clears throat> for shot collar is got um, noise, uh, vibration, I, and shock. I really didn't use shock on her because it didn't work. But she didn't really listen or learn from that anyways. Uh, but we, <clears throat> Sam found someone who showed us how to use this mini educator. <clears throat> and it's got variable ratings from 0 to 100. But the, 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 this uses like a TENS thing, so it's a massaging thing. <clears throat> so it's sort of like, you you know, you're being a brat. Your mom gets behind you, grabs your shoulder. Well, that's what it feels like to the dog. <clears throat> and the question is, how pissed is mom? Is it a strong grab or is it a little grab? Um, they Dogs don't like big ones, so you bring it down. If they do, they yelp. You scare the shit out of them. Okay? So that's what we're using with Luna. Luna. Say hello. Look, what's this? Uh, today, I only had to use it about twice, the button. Um, yesterday, Sam was uh, took her upstairs, laid in the collar or the remote. <clears throat> she just obeyed. And today, when I got around, I told her to place and didn't use the button. So she sat down there. The only time <clears throat> she decided to be bad is when her ball got away from her. She wanted to get it. Uh, so a couple times, I've let her I'd go free, let her get it, and then place her again. Um, and there's other times you're just too much of a craving to go get her toy. And then she's bad and gets, and then I have to place her again and press the button, but try not to use the button too much. Uh, or you keep it really low. Um, end of the day is we'll get her where we want her to be. You don't want her running around chewing things up. Um, uh, long as she's under control, does the right thing. She's good. And right now she's looking outside of all the wonderful rain and puddles she can play with. So when she goes on, she's won't go to the dry area. She has to go find the freaking wettest area going, especially the puddle. We have a lake in the backyard now. Uh, the rain, it's, it, years ago it was worse. Uh, before we had the road in the back, it would really flood. Now it's uh, it drains slowly, but it looks like a, a koi pond in the back. <clears throat> so much water. But anyways, it, when it dries, it'll be gone again anyway. It doesn't take long. Cool. I uh, just want to give you a heads up. Mini educator is not too bad. Um... I might find the link and add it to my video. <clears throat> Maybe if the mini educator company was smart, they would sponsor me. <clears throat> they sponsor me. That would be good. I'm actually quite impressed with this collar. It works quite well. Uh, and you buy it from the vendor directly, and it's not that expensive. Um, I can't even remember the price. But let me find the link. I'll add it to the channel later. Okay, cool. I'll talk to you later. You have a good day.